everyone. I'm going to use this angel wing mold again, but this time I'm going to do something different with the dry painting. I'm going to kind of, let's just say, do some dry painting with a bit of randomness. I'm going to sprinkle powder onto it in different areas and then, and then at the last step, brush it into place. So I have no idea how this is going to work. Usually I apply the brush into the powder and then I'm very controlled. I wanted to go here and here and here. This time I'm just going to spritzle it on top. Spritzle it. Hmm. New phrase. Sprinkle it on top and see where it goes. You never know, but uh, I'll give you a hint. I've already done it. I know what it looks like. It, it, it came out a whole lot better than I would have expected. So hang on tight. Here we go. Hey everyone, I, I had a thought. You remember this mold here? Well, I had a thought about this one because it has so many neat little details and uh, the variation of shading I did on the last time turned out really, really well. I thought about trying something fun. Okay, it might be a little ridiculous, but I'm gonna experiment anyway. So the gold here was prominent and I thought it would be and it was the first color I put down. So I'm kind of going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to sprinkle the colors in and just kind of, you know, literally like dump, 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 sprinkle them in, shake it all around, that kind of thing, and see where things land and, and layer up different colors and do, repeat the same process. So all the colors are going to land in a different way. And then afterwards, when I've got all the colors in there that I want, I'm going to use the little silicone brushes to uh, mush and maneuver it around so it gets in the nice little cracks and crevices and things like that. So it'll be kind of random, kind of not, meaning um, the parts that are not random are the dominant color. In other words, the first color I put in will be intentional. Where it lands is going to be very random, and then from there on, it's all random. Okay, so enough of the random talk. Here we go. And I've got um, a bunch of different whites and some very wingy light colors. Well, I guess wings come in all different colors, so scratch that. Um, I guess very angelic light colors. But I've also got a uh, lavender. It's kind of a rose gold color from Mayron. So we're gonna start off with this guy and then build on top of that. So, this is uh, a little bit on the crazy side. Now usually when you put Mayron into resin, it doesn't take a whole lot, meaning as far as what you put in there, and it can take over. So this is a little bit of the wild card here. I'm just very gently kind of tapping it in And then put the lid on that guy. By the way, always recommend every time you do dry painting, as soon as you're done with it, put the lid on. All right, so I'm gonna come around the edges a little bit, do some tapping. Now oh, there's a bald spot, hang on, a bald wing. just to evenly get it, the loose stuff going down before I really go to the sides and give it a good pounding. And all I'm trying to do is get this rose gold to kind of go down to the, towards the tips. Let's see if it's doing any of that. Nope. Okay. Well, there's a little bit there. There's not a lot there. Well, that helped. Okay. So this is our dominant color. No, oh, yeah, that's uh, I might have put on a little bit too much. So. 
You might get to witness a little bit of failure here. We'll see. Okay. So that one's done. Let's see. What do we want to do next? I don't think we're going to do that guy. Let me do that guy a second. Okay. All right. Now this is Ghost Blue, which is a, you can see right there, it's an interference color where different directions of light will show different colors. And this one is, well, this is Ghost Blue. So, oops, oh, that could have been bad. So just by tapping the edge, well, hopefully, well, maybe I'll just bounce along the side of the silicone. <laughs> like I said, a bit of an experiment. I don't want it to shift in huge globs like it just did in the jar. Okay. As they say with heli helicopters, a control fall. There is such a thing, but well, that seems to be staying right in that spot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not sure this is going to turn out. All right. We are going to do a little bit more closer to the edges. Now when I'm all done with this thing, I'm going to flip it over and tap it out to get rid of any excess. Put a lid on that. All right. I always do kind of a hard tap all around just to do even a little bit more even disbursement before I really get after it. And if you notice, it's kind of jumping to the edge also when I do this. Okay, so that's good. Hmm. All right, now this stuff is amazing. Um, you see by the edge there, it kind of has a gold undertone to it but it's a super fine glitter, or could be a mica in this case. I don't know, but um, as you can see by the jar, I think this is my second jar. Yeah, we, oh, okay. So this is, yeah, super fine. Uh, used with caution, I'm in a huge ventilated area. But this stuff can go, okay, we're gonna try hand here. This time first. You see that? Gold shimmer. Right. And mainly what this does is it gets it down to the corners or the very tips of the wings, and also gets it on the side as well. So that way we've got, I guess you could say consistent coverage all over. All right, that is um, pretty darn sparkly. It is not coming off as sparkly as it is here. Look at my hands. You're even sparkly. Okay. So now I'm going to get my brush. And I have got to glue this brush down. All right. So all I'm going to do is kind of rub it around in here. Go against, or go with the, the feathers. And kind of, well, actually, I'm going to go both directions. I lied. You ever do that? Change your plan midway through? And most likely, when I flip this over, I'm going to have a lot more powder than I normally do when I dip my brush in and apply it with that way. Um, 
I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of wasted product here. So I wouldn't recommend this all the time. But for an experiment, it might be worth it. And who knows? Maybe it comes up with an unusual tech, you know, result that you can't get any other way. I don't know. We're going to find out. So I got a comment on one of my videos, which I thought was kind of interesting. You know how when uh, you hear yourself on video or, a, you know, some kind of recording and you hear your own voice and it's like, that's how I sound? Really? Are you serious? Okay. So I got this lady who um, mentioned on one of my videos that my voice is rather soothing. I'm like, my voice? Are, are you talking about me? You can't be talking about me. It's just like... I go to sleep with it every night. I was like, are you kidding me? It, it just, I'm kind of surprised. I have a soothing voice. Who knew? All right. Now I'm going to try and get in there and see if I can get the tips. Just, oh, well, that helps a little bit more. Now, this mold here, I got it on Amazon, and the particular company, they put a listing out, and then they they remove their listing after a bit. I think this mold comes from China. Um, most of the molds I usually get are from uh, Resin Queen on Etsy, and I really like the quality of her molds. But this was an unusual one because of the fact that it, it actually is a bowl, and I like that. So, yeah, so we got their mold now. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell it, it's a little bit smoother, meaning a nicer blend between colors. It's gonna be uh, easier to tell, obviously, when it comes out of the mold. But anyway, what I was gonna tell you about is that if you do hunt down this mold, because of all the little wings and the details, the resin, you know, or the, the, the mold has lots of little bitty fingers. So when it does that, it has a really good grip on the resin. So um, if you're not patient with pull, pulling resin out of molds, uh, you're not going to like this mold. So just fair warning. And if you're wondering about it, go look at my other videos on these two because you get the unmolding and you could see me like really wrestling with it for quite some time. And I was, it was testing my patience a bit. And I guess, what do I do? I do another one. Oh, well. Okay. So, here, let's dump this out, see what comes out of this thing. Yeah, okay. Mental note. <laughs> Don't do that. Tap it carefully. What I did is I made a pile, and then I started tapping on top of the pile. Okay. So, yeah, a lot of wasted product. I might see if I have a container where I could put this in and make a lavender dust. Lavender pearl. There we go. We got a new, new color. All right. So, time to wait for the resin. See what this light, little guy looks like. Later.
Okay, the color combination on this one, I wouldn't have pictured this in a million years. That's really cool. I mean, seriously? And even the back looks cool. Zowie. All right, guys. You know what to do? Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, but hit that bell so you get notified because you never know what's going to come up and sometimes something awesome comes up even without me knowing it. Later.